guys, it's Kelly from Ali Estate Agents and welcome back to today's video. Today I'm going to be talking about what's some of the different ways or key ways to successfully sell your home in today's market and achieve a fantastic price. Um, it, I don't profess to be the best of the best uh, in terms of uh, you know marketing your home, but I've always been looking at uh, different ways and innovative ways to market a home um, and not necessarily costing the vendor extreme uh, amount of money to be able to do it but to increase the attention and obviously the competition on uh, selling property because ultimately in 2019 the platform of real estate agents um, have changed and the landscape is always changing there's always a different ways of real estate agents coming popping up uh, a lot of them are shutting down um, and then there is uh, different ways of uh, agencies operating whether it's in buildings in shops um, online at home uh, yeah through properties through apps and whatnot the most important thing to understand is about the way to market your home because uh, at the end of the day depend doesn't really uh, obviously make too much difference about whether the agency is part of a franchise or not uh, whether the agency is operating out of a traditional shop with a shop window or in a building where it's on a set level two, three or whatever um, and, and renting a desk um, or ultimately uh, running out of their own home and just an online business. The biggest difference is about how they market your property and how they get those buyers and how they interact with them because ultimately the buyers need to feel comfortable and need to see the value in your home and to be able to uh, give a fantastic offer and to create competition as well um, at that property. And th the ways that you can uh, change the traditional ways of real estate in 2019 is implementing more online strategies as part of your marketing ca campaign or plan. One of those things are um, social media. We see a lot of agencies doing social media now, but there is many ways, of, I guess, to skin a cat. And the, the important thing to understand, without going into all the technical jargon and making this a very boring video for you, um, is to basically look at how the agent or agency is running their Facebook page. Are they getting any engagement, like likes, shares, or comments on their page? Is there anything on their page that show you about what the actual agency is about to create engagement? Is it just about me, 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 me? Um, is there anything about uh, the general area to create interaction? Is there competitions on their page that they've shown um, to create a different uh, diversity of um, uh, real estate in their page and not having it such boring, just less than just sold? Because ultimately the social media landscape is about being social and get creating a social interaction out there. And you're not gonna get just this social interaction about, look at me, I'm at the front of an open home. Um, look at me, I've just listed this. Look at me, I've just sold this. Um, because that, that's great to have the stock there and, and available to, to clientele. But the clientele has to have some kind of reason to be able to like, share, or comment on, on the post. Um, and getting the appropriate demographic to look at the uh, the actual page itself. So just have a look at the likes on there and see if it's just a purchased amount of likes on there and they are purchasing the, the audience which don't even live in Australia. So, so there is a lot of that happening at the moment where there's a falsified amount of interaction um, within the landscape of uh, the real estate side of things. It's happening across many dot-com platforms but we'll talk about the real estate side of things. So it's very important to speak to your agent when you're selecting them, um, or if you've already selected them, to ask them for some reports. And the reports are very easy, they're in layman terms, they're very easy to look at, and you'll be able to see the interaction from the back end side of things. Okay, um, we've got your property for X amount of days, um, and these are how many people that came and had a look at the, 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 the ad. This is how many people have actually had an interaction, whether it be a like, share, or comment. Um, and this is what's going on. Because it's just as important as having a realestate.com uh, advertising your home. It's, it's just as important. They go hand in hand now. In 2019, I think if you're not gonna be an agent that's gonna be innovative um, and be able to uh, look for different ways to get more buyers to a home and create competition, I think you are gonna take, be taken with a, by, by the tide. As the tide goes out, you'll be taken away and out of the industry. Uh, there is also, there's a lot of products out there for vendors not to get really 
sucked into it. I guess it's probably the best way that I can put it um, is uh, taking on products such as the realestate.com social media product. There is one, there's a Rate My Agent one, I think there is uh, some other companies that are doing it. You'll see that a lot of that product is pretty much trying to take traffic towards their website or their company or advertise their company. Make sure that the campaign that you're spending um, on is predominantly working toward the selling of your home and you're achieving a good price. Because there's nothing worse than spending all that money and not getting any differentiation. And a lot of the times, agents will come in and say, hey, yeah, we do social media. Yeah, we do more online advertising. Um, ask them how they do it and should get them to show you maybe one of their past campaigns. They can probably do it on their phone and log into their um, Facebook page. And ultimately, just making sure that you, it's not about spending more, but being smart about how it's advertised. So it's not about the strategy of I can't spend a thousand dollars on uh, social media, but I should get 10,000 people looking at my property. No, it's not going to definitely happen like that. There's a lot of different algorithms and technicality that goes in the back end to make sure that that actually works and is effective and an appropriate social media marketer will be able to explain that to you if you want to jump online. There's a lot of those online you just can do a um, sort of a Q&A with them or alternatively you can ask the company that is asking you to spend some money on social media to show you some of those things and they can show you if they do understand it correctly. But there is a lot of um, advertising done in this, the real estate sector that uh, is not very effective. We are seeing a lot of that um, and it, it seems to be that it's just about advertising the individual or the company and, and it needs to be a lot about the selling of the home and getting a good result in the outcomes and that's quite easily um, differentiated by just speaking to a professional. If you do have any questions feel free to give me a call on my mobile um, on 0422 or drop me a line on our Facebook page uh, and I'll definitely get back to you with any questions that you have. Thanks guys for watching and hope that helps you with the market that you're in 2019. Take care.